I'm going to be installing a short ram intake on my 2002 Honda Civic. I'm going to show you guys step by step how to do this, so let's go. another awesome episode of JDM for all today we are going to be doing an awesome mod to the new Honda Civic that we have it's not exactly new it's actually 20 years old but it is new to me and I'm definitely excited guys I can't wait we are actually installing a short ram intake on the Civic and I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to install it so if you guys want to do this to your car or you want to know how I'll basically show you how in this video but before we start this video, please do not forget to like and subscribe, it helps me out a lot. So I did recently just wash and wax the Civic and I used some ceramic wax on it and it is looking great guys. So it is about time to install the intake. I'm going to show you guys everything that the intake comes with right now. Okay, so this is everything that came in the box. It does come with a red filter. I did get the red intake. This whole intake uh, setup was $70 on Amazon. And it does look like a really good setup. This is from R-Tunes Racing, and this short ram intake should fit great. Um, all of the reviews looked really good, so I think it's time that we install, guys. We do have a little bit of work to do, so let's go. And there's the CRV right there, guys. Check out the CRV. What a beautiful sight. I am in love with this lifted CRV, guys. Wow, what an amazing vehicle. Okay, so I'm going to pull the Civic over here into the shade. It's actually a pretty warm day, and the Civic is sitting in the sun. So I'm going to pull it right over here so we can actually work on it. The garage is open so I can get the tools that I need. So let's move the Civic. All right, so I've never installed an intake on this generation of a Honda Civics, but it looks pretty simple. Um, it looks like there's a bolt right there, right here, and a few others um, right here. This looks like a mounting bolt. And there's one right down there, um, one right here. It looks pretty self-explanatory. So I'm just gonna start taking this apart from uh, out here and make my way up to the filter housing right here. Um, and once I get all of that done, I'll be back. All right guys, so we took out a big part of the intake filter housing. Um, it's the resonator area. All of it uh, didn't have to take out the battery. I've seen people take out the battery, but I was able to get in there and take it all out without having to. And this is the only thing left. And uh, this was actually pretty easy to take out. This was a little harder, but for the most part guys, super simple, super self-explanatory. I saw on reviews of this uh, intake that a lot of people were saying they didn't know how to do it and um i don't know it was super simple okay so it looks like for the most part this is going to be easy um i know that underneath here is the throttle body and it's probably screwed on i think it's screwed on and there's a sensor right here so we're going to t unclip the sensor and then i will start uh unscrewing the throttle body or fig figuring out how to take this filter off right now guys so I unplugged this sensor right here I think that's a AIT um, air intake temperature sensor or a MAF or something I'm not sure exactly but it's a it's definitely a sensor you want to make sure you unplug if you guys um, end up doing this on your car make sure you guys unplug this do not pull this uh, air box off without unplugging this and that plug plugs right into the sensor right here which we will be taking off and putting into the new intake um, and here it is guys it's off so to take off this air box you actually have to loosen this little uh, screw right here, and this is what holds it onto the throttle body. So after you take off the sensor, unscrew this right here, and basically it's in the car just like this, and you just want to uh, take off that sensor and then unscrew this to take it off of the throttle body. It should come right off. There we go, guys. Here's the throttle body. We're gonna clean it up right now. 
Okay, so now it's time for the fun part, guys. We're going to install the short ram intake. It's going to be awesome, so I'm going to start installing it, and we'll be right back when I'm done. All right, guys, so this is the inside of the filter housing. Here is the top right here, so this is what it looks like. And the sensor was right here. It's actually pretty hard to come out. I thought I could maybe push on it from the inside, but it didn't want to damage it. There is a little rubber uh, piece on it. So when it was in the box, all I did was just use a flathead very gently and pop it out while pulling on it. And when you do that, um, you'll get it out eventually. It takes a little bit of work, but yeah, it will come out. So everything is tightened up. I have this little rubber piece in here installed. Um, basically, this was this came with the kit, and it just tightens on here so it does not move too much. Um, but if you don't have one of those, I think the cheaper ones don't come with that. Then you can always use one of these stock bolts that came with the uh, stock air box system, and you just screw it right in there and it will hold it down as well. Um, but everything is tightened up. It looks all, it all looks good. The filters tightened up. The throttle body is all tightened up. The sensor is plugged in, looks really good. Um, so now all I have to do is put this little hose in for the exhaust recirculation hose. I'm going to cut it down and get it to fit and then we'll be done. All right guys, so we are finished. Um, the stock clamps did not fit on this, but uh, it fits pretty snug um, just as it is so I'm going to leave it how it is everything is connected and looking great and basically guys it looks really good I'm liking this so I'm going to give it a test drive and try it out I'm super excited